Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to find the median of a data set. And the median is the middle number of a data set. And the way I remember it, I think of the word medium, it kind of sounds like median, and medium is the middle size. So I make the connection that median equals middle. Because sometimes once you add mean, median, mode, and range and put them all together, it can be hard to think about which is which. So you have to make connections, and my connection is medium equals middle size, and it kind of sounds like median. So we have two examples that we're going to go through together in order to get this down. So number one here, the first thing we need to do, we need to list those numbers in order from least to, least to greatest. So our first number, our lowest in value, is this two here. And I cross it off, that way I don't count it twice or forget, or forget anything. Then we have three threes. One, two, three. We don't have a four, so we skip to a five here. Uh, don't have any sixes, so then seven, eight, nine, and then 10. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine numbers in our original list. So that means we should have nine once we order them from least to greatest. If we don't have nine, something went wrong. So let's double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we are good to go. So once we have them in order, we need to find the middle number. So we have nine numbers in that list. So the fifth number will be our median. So one, two, three, four, and five. So five happens to be our median or middle number. So median equals five. And one more thing we should double check. We should always check that we have the same amount of numbers on the left side of that five and the right side of that five, proving that it is directly in the middle. So let's see, we have one, two, three, four on the left and one, two, three, four on the right. So it just proves that that five is our median and in the middle. So number two, again, first step, we need to put those numbers in order from least to greatest. So our smallest number in value is this 73. Next comes the 82. Then we have an 83, 87, 90, and 96. So here we have six terms, six numbers in our data set. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we match, we're good to go, and we are in order from least to greatest. So let's find the middle number. Well, here we have an even number of numbers in our data set. So we do not have one number directly in the middle. It's going to be, our middle would be right here between 83 and 87. So what you do if you have an even number of numbers in your data set, we find the two numbers directly in the middle, which it's going to be an 83 and an 87 here. As opposed to number one, we had an odd number of numbers in our data set. When you have an odd number of numbers, there will be one number directly in the middle. So we have two here. So once we find the two numbers directly in the middle of our data set, we take the average of those two and that will give us our median. So in order to find the average, we need to add our two numbers up. So 83 plus 87, and that gives us an answer of 170. Um, once you add them up, you need to divide by how, however many numbers you added up. And we added two numbers up, so we need to divide by two in order to find the average. So 170 divided by two is 85. So our median equals 85. 
And let's double check that we have the same amount of numbers on the left and right of our two numbers in the middle. So we have one, two, and one, two. So we did pick the two middle numbers. We found that average and that gives us our median. So there you have it. There's how you find the median of a data set. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.